Hey Moxie fam and welcome to your Moxie Life Portrait Digital Planner Setup Guide. I'm so excited to walk you through everything you need to get started using your new planner. We'll cover how to import your planner and digital files, how to add your favorite stickers and covers, how to integrate your planner with your calendar apps, and even show you how to pin it right to your iPad home screen for easy access. Feel free to stick around or skip to whatever part you need. And let's get your digital planner all set up and ready to go. So to import your digital planner, you're going to want to first unzip that portrait um, folder. I'm going to be sharing with you our portrait neutral for this tutorial video. Every Moxie Life digital planner comes with digital covers. They're in a zip file and a collection file, which is specifically for GoodNotes users only. You're going to want to unzip um, the files by simply tapping them. So you'll see all your digital covers. And then, like I said, you also get planner icons, the collections just for good notes. But when you tap it, you'll see that the files uncompressed. So you'll see your icons there. We're going to talk about those. You have ones with a white backdrop, and then you also have another set of planner icons with a transparent background. So you don't see that white border. Some people like to use these as stickers. Um, I'll share how you can create a planner shortcut later on in the video. And then you also get uh, free Moxie Life digital stickers, which um, are included in all our planners as well. And it's like numbers. So if you want to redate things, repurpose things, we have some goal setting stickers, some dot stickers, some flag stickers. It's just a little bit of everything to get you started with your digital planner. And then every digital planner also comes with our 2025 Reflections Notebook um, where you can, I like to screenshot this and add this to my notes section, or you can just open it up in GoodNotes. And then you have your beautiful planner file. There are multiple ways that you can go about importing your planner. You can do it directly from your filing system. I'm using Apple's files, but you could use Google Drive, your Microsoft filing system, and usually you can share it. You can upload this to any note-taking application. I'm going to be using GoodNotes because that's what most digital planners use. Um, and so I can add it from GoodNotes itself as well by simply going to New and importing it. Um, that way and then I just click on the file that I want to import and then it is added to GoodNotes But like I said, you can also do it from your filing system. It's whatever's easier for you Okay, so I'm just gonna put GoodNotes in read mode just so I can easily show you the hyperlinks and navigating throughout the digital planner um, so our portrait planner comes in a colorful version as well as a neutral. So you get to pick and choose which one you like. Now every digital planner, ours included, has a table of contents. And this is literally the heartbeat um, of the digital planner. It allows you to easily click and move throughout the planner from one spot. We have hyperlinks that take you to our annual goals. You can take it to different monthly goals, different parts of your monthly reflection all from one spot. We also embedded external hyperlinks that will take you to our free printable library. So if you want to include anything from our printables into your digital planner, you can easily do that. We also have a 16 subject notebook where the notepaper templates are also hyperlinked as well as the different subjects themselves. And so that's pretty much our table of contents. And you always have access to that with that home button in the upper right hand tab corner. Now we have the same goal set system just like our um, physical planners as well. So you'll see that in the planner. And then we have our monthly pages. And then on the monthly view, anytime you click on the date, it will take you to that daily page. Anytime you click in the upper left hand corner on the weeks, it will take you to that coordinating week. Now our portrait planner, our weekly overview is a little bit more streamlined. It's like a, a compact horizontal layout is what I would refer to it. Then we have four upper icons in the top that you'll see on all your pages. And that helps you switch between your monthly calendar, your monthly goals, your monthly reflections, and that digital notebook. And then on our goal setting pages, we also have a little question mark um, where the question mark, if you click on it, it will take you to that coordinating page in the prep work section. And so that's pretty much the flow of it. Now, this is how it is from week to week. Every week you have a weekly reflections and you have your standard just like you would see in our physical planners. And then we have hyperlinks that take you between those coordinating weeks of weekly reflections, weekly actions, and your weekly overview. There's also arrow icons that make it easy to switch between those days. So if you're just on your weekly actions, you can switch from week to week. 
the same if you're just on your um, weekly overview or weekly reflections, you can switch week to week. And then the question mark will also take you back to those coordinating prep works if you need help with some weekly goals or weekly reflections. Um, another thing to be aware of is on our weekly overview page, anytime you click on the day, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, any day of the week, it's gonna run that Apple shortcut. So you no longer have to click through the week to get to it. You can also get it from your weekly overview as well as your daily pages. And it will bring up that day's day of the week, the date and the year. Um, and then anytime you click on the actual date itself, it will take you to the daily page and the same thing happens. And so it's very simple. Um, you'll also see that on your daily pages. Anytime you click on the actual um, day, it will run that shortcut like you see here. Um, and again, this shortcut works with Apple Cal, Apple Reminders and Google Cal. Um, and so I love using it because if I want to like, if I'm planning, I can simply use it, add it, make it add something to my list and it's going to show up in reminders and it's really simple and I really, really love using it. Um, and later on in the video, I'll share with you how to download that link. Every daily page has a hyperlinked monthly calendar. You'll see that we added the sun and moon icons because now we have daily intentions and daily reflections and you access that on your daily planning pages. The one thing about our portrait planner is that it's very minimalistic with the icons. Um, and anytime you're on your daily intentions or reflections, again, if you click on the actual day itself, it'll run the shortcut. If you click on the date, it will take you back to that daily page of um, whatever you're on for your daily intentions. So the flow of the planner is pretty much, you know, you have your week and then you have your day. And then after each day, you'll have your daily intentions and daily reflections. And that's really the bulk of how the planner flows. And then after all of your planning pages and, um, and after each month, you'll also have your compass assessments. And that is after each quarter. And we have embedded hyperlinks to easily switch between each quarter. You have yearly planning pages. And those yearly planning pages are also fully hyperlinked. Um, so that's really cool. And then after your yearly planning pages, you have your notebook section where you have 16 subjects. And then behind each subject is where you will copy and paste your pages, which we're about to get into. So let's talk about how to use the notebook section in your planner. So I'm going to go ahead and just say that I'm gonna use, you know, subject one for memory planning. And um, I'm going to just title it and then I wanna use the scrapbook page in my notepaper template. And so I'm gonna click those three dots in the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna press copy page. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to that section and this is gonna be my memory section and I'm going to press add page again and I'm gonna say after and then I'm gonna press paste page. And now I have this memory after that particular section. And because I'm extra, I'm just gonna add some photos so you can see what it looks like. Um, and I just really, really, really love the notebook section because it's just really easy to copy and add pages into my planner like so. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure I put memories on this subject page as well. So I know that when I click on this subject, I know exactly what is gonna be here. And I just, I love a good notebook and I love how we get to embed it into our digital planner as well. So after I swipe, I know my memories are all there. To change your planner cover, you're going to click those three dots in the upper right hand corner and you're going to press add page and press before from your title page um, and then open up your file from your downloads and import the planner that cover that you want. Um, when you do it this way and you do it directly from the file, you'll see that you have that full planner and you'll see the white border and good notes. Another way that I personally like doing it is also from my GoodNotes collection file where you can import your planners directly here into GoodNotes um, using that dot collection files. All you're gonna do is open up the elements feature by clicking that sticky smiley face icon at the upper in the top. You're gonna label it, we're gonna call it covers. You're gonna say import from, and you're gonna go back to that Moxie Life file and go to your covers and then put in the dot collection file and then it's gonna import all of your covers and press create. And then you wanna click create so it saves it. And then all your planner covers will show up here. 
I also like doing it this way and one thing that I'll do is I'll do the full complete planner um, and spread it out so it covers the full page and it's just another fun way to do this and the reason why I like to do it this way is that when I exit out and I go back into GoodNotes I see that full page effect and so it's literally whatever your style preference is. You can also add your digital stickers doing the dot collection file like we did and as well as your planner icons um, through the collection file as well, just repeating what we did with the digital covers. Adding digital covers and icons is one of my favorite ways to customize my digital planner. Now let's talk about how to add the shortcut integration the very first thing you want to do is make sure you go to your settings and make sure that private sharing is turned on in your shortcuts okay and then you're going to go back to your digital planner you're going to click on that hyperlink and you're going to press yes and it's going to open up shortcuts and you'll see the shortcut yes it says 2025 and you're going to want to make sure you add it to whatever application you're using so i'm using good notes and then you're going to press add that shortcut that blue button and you'll be all square to go To add your planner as an icon on your home screen, you're gonna to wanna to open up your shortcuts app. Click the add button um, in the upper right hand corner and then we're going to first label what we want to call our icon and this is what's gonna show up on your home screen. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to your application of choice. So since I'm using GoodNotes, I'm gonna to go to GoodNotes and then I'm gonna press open document because I want to open my a specific document in GoodNotes. And then I'm gonna click which document, it's usually your most recent ones that it will show. And so then I'm going to go and add this to my home screen by clicking the info button. I'm gonna choose the file. I'm gonna go back to my Moxie Life files, click the planner icons, and then I'm gonna pick which icon I want to use and then press add. And then on my home screen, there it is. And so when I click on it, there's my planner. Now, another thing we love doing is adding digital stickers to our planner. When you get a Moxie Life 2026 planner, you get our standard like Moxie Life stickers, which include dots, flags, goal setting stickers. And so um, I'm gonna share with you how you can also upload those to GoodNotes using the collection file. You're just gonna repeat what we just did with our digital covers. You're gonna create a new collection and you're gonna press import from at the bottom. And then you're gonna go to your planning file. You're gonna click on your stickers and you're gonna click that dot collection file and then it's gonna upload all of your stickers. Now, I know that not everyone uses GoodNotes and may not even have an element feature a part of their note-taking application. If that's the case, I recommend putting your iPad or tablet device into split screen view and dragging and dropping your um, images over. Um, that's a really simple way. Or you can use the image tool, which is a part of every note-taking application and upload your digital stickers that way as well. I hope you found this setup tutorial helpful for your Moxie Life digital planner. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We got plenty more digital planning videos coming your way and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you're most excited to try in your new digital planner.